Look how incredibly beautiful this street is. Welcome to the beautiful Bukchon Hanok village in Seoul, South Korea. We are actually just coming from the Gyeongbokgung Palace dressed in the traditional Hanbok and we are going to explore this beautiful place together. The street behind me is absolutely breathtaking. Okay, now after maybe about a 15, maybe 20 minute, probably close to a 15 minute walk from Jokbukgong Palace, we have finally found the Bukchon Hanok village. We still have our Hanok from earlier, which is perfect. So we still feel we're doing the traditional thing. There's other rentals here, as you might be able to see. And yeah, it looks like a spread out area with some sort of stores or new or old things to check out. Stay posted as we see more. So while it's important to know this area is beautiful and fun to walk around and explore and enjoy as a tourist, if you have mind this, it actually is a neighborhood. So it's not just an attraction, this is a place where people actually live. So try and keep your voices down, not be too loud, not impede on people's privacy and property. Just walk through the streets and enjoy the views. And when you're talking to the camera, keep your voice down. Very important. And while the traditional Hanok villages are beautiful, the views from here are exceptional as well. One of these places you can view is the National Folk Museum of Korea, which is actually in the Gyeongbokgung Palace area. Definitely should check it out. So, so far this area is so much fun to explore. Every little side street has something to see. We have the beautiful house, a shop, store, some flowers. Really cool. This looks like a really nice little area too to check out called Bukchon Best Respect. Or Best Prospect, sorry, not respect, but respect the area, of course. So, don't know how much we're going to explore here. A lot of different streets are going on. It's kind of overwhelming. Not sure knowing exactly where you want to go. But the options are endless, which is really fun just to walk around and have no, uh, no end in sight or no particular thing in mind to see. Another point of interest you can see is Anasol Tower off in the distance, which is somewhere we previously visited. We actually hiked to the top of Namsan Mountain to see this, where you get some amazing views of Seoul. Some of the best in the city, for sure. As you guys can see, the street behind me is absolutely breathtaking. It was like the picture perfect uh, Puntan Hanok Village Street. You get that beautiful red sort of design along the wall. All the roofs, the buildings with the sort of wood aesthetic with the white clean look. Love it. And flowers and Vanessa. I'm coming. <laughs> This truly is one of the most beautiful places to walk around in Seoul, especially while wearing the hanbok. It really gives you that traditional feel like where you're back in time. I like the city lights and all that, but for me, this truly feels authentically Korean. Guys, look how incredibly beautiful this street is. It's so long, so many different hanok little houses. Beautiful grays and reds, designing the bricks. I know it's not like a broken record, but so far this is my favorite sort of area we've experienced this far in the Bukchon Hanok village. Make sure to check it out, it's from the photo spot, and just go up the hill north, and then just follow around the area, and you will not be disappointed. So that pretty much summarizes our time walking around and exploring Bukchon Hanok village. It is so beautiful and gorgeous. Just remember to be quietly and to talk at an appropriate volume because it is indeed a neighborhood. But if you want to rent the Hanbok, go to Hanbok Queen nearby Gyeongbokgung Palace. We rented these before visiting the palace and then visited the Bukchon Hanok village. The place is really nice and the prices are really affordable as well. And now that the day was over, at night we headed to Hongdae, an area with a completely different part of Korean culture that you can experience.
So while the street performances in Hongdae are really sweet, these cookies at Honey Cookie Yongnam are even sweeter, and Hongnam is a neighborhood right next to Hongdae. Definitely check this place out. I even put the Korean writing in case you can't find it on the map. Now we're heading back into the bright night lights of Hongdae to go to this restaurant and bar called Joseon Dynasty, a place which perfectly blends the traditional and beautiful city culture. All right, everybody, so we're over a week into our trip here in Seoul, and now we're trying for our first time soju, cream beer, and hopefully a somak. So stay tuned, we're in this really cool, sort of traditional place, and it's located underground, but this is found at a really cool entrance in Hongdae. Anyway, we're gonna get a little crunk here, celebrating some successful shoe shopping. We also tried makgoli, which is like a Korean rice wine, before making our way back out onto the street. A little bit buzzed with alcohol, I'm not gonna lie, to end our night with some norebang. Check it out. Oh,